Good morning. Hey, Replay viewers. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You can still share it out and tap hearts for the first 24 hours. Good morning, everybody. Turning you around and getting you set up, maybe. Because <laughs> you know I have problems with my um, tripod. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Bridget. I was just getting ready to box you after this. Hey, Tracy. I Artisans. What's your first name? I forget. I, I apologize. Hey, Ashley. I have to scoot forward so I can read because my eyes are like really puffy today. Daphne. That's right. Snowy Wyoming. Oh my gosh. Hey, Tamara. How are you? You did? Awesome. I have another mom hat, hair hat today. <laughs> hey, Sarah, Krista, Kim, Karen. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Good morning. I'm trying. I'm trying. Snow in Quebec. Ugh. I'm thankful we got snow this weekend and now we don't and it's warm so I'm good. Thanks. My shirt's like all crooked. Striped shirts and mommy being pregnant don't match but oh well. You need to. You should. I want to know how it goes because I love it. Oh. Good morning. Hello. Is that Casey? I think it is. I don't know. Guys, my eyes, look how puffy my eyes are this morning. I don't know why. I got lots of sleep last night. Do I sell planner items? I do. I do stickers and inserts. That is what I do. Dubai. Wow. That's awesome. We're at Chaotic Blessing on Etsy. Uh, why are my boobs big? Because I'm growing a baby in my belly. No, I've never been to Dubai. You better be clean in here or you're, I'm kicking you out. Um, so, what are we talking about today? What was the title, you guys? <laughs> I'm kidding. So, yesterday... Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, yes, thanks, Bridget. You have no stickers or cute things? Well, we need to make it pretty because, okay... I need to have prettiness in my life. Oh, I can't wait to see it either. Um, so, sorry, let's just block some of these retard. Oh, nope, I shouldn't say that word. Sorry, let's block some of these people that aren't very nice. Really? First time? Oh, cool. Awesome. You guys are awesome. So, okay, real quick. So I have another hair hack for you guys <laughs> because I'm loving these hair. I know. Block party. Um, you're going to triple bun your hair too today, Sarah. Yay. I can't wait. Okay. So, all right, let's talk about a mom hair hack real quick. Um, because it's kind of on the topic of making your day beautiful. Okay. So no time. I didn't have time for a shower this morning at all um you couldn't figure it out oh it's easy just take the top part twist it bun bobby pin one take the next section twist bun um pin it and then take the bottom or if you have a lot of hair you can do multiple but i can only fit three on my head so today's hair hack real quick take the top part of your hair tease it just a little bit bobby pin it so it sticks up because unless you want it flat you can do a flat um you're gonna try to fix it today awesome and then just take the rest and do like a messy bun and pin it right there like it's just completely messy it's up it's out of your way and it still looks cute um and then I had to like bobby pin the bottom because I have short hair it's coming up yeah so way easy and then you're cute it's ready you're ready to go out if you want to spray it you can you can spray the sides and make it like you know like how the fashion people do it and make it like really tight on the sides I can't do that because it gives me a headache so easy peasy and it doesn't have to look like see uh oh I need another bobby pin it doesn't have to look like major put together it's supposed to be messy it's supposed to be messy 
Okay, another body pen. See? So it'll probably fall out because I was like in a hurry. They probably do. Well, you can use um, hairspray or just use some like um, the balm stuff. That works really well, just like smoothing it out a little bit. But I do too. I still have like hairs growing from when I lost all my hair from the last baby. So it's like way all different lengths. Um, so talking about let's make our days beautiful because yesterday was just like, oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't take very much. Like literally you could do a toothpick size and put it on your, um, fingers and just like kind of like rub it in and it's good. So, um, so let's try to make today beautiful and figure out some way. It doesn't mean you have to do something major. You're welcome. Um. You know, take a moment to listen to the birds outside, put some music on. Um, what else can you do? Take a second to doodle or something. <laughs> you would. You can. You can send me a pic on Instagram. You can do that. What I did this morning was I wanted to record down something that we did yesterday in my little personal planner. Um... Yeah, eat cake for breakfast. Exactly. Or not in my case because I cannot eat sugar when I'm pregnant for some reason. <laughs> Aww. Tummy bug. Oh, yeah. Mine had a tummy bug yesterday. So yesterday was really hard because she, like, she wanted to eat everything, but I'm like, you're throwing up. You can't eat this stuff. So she was like fighting me on everything. And then of course this morning she was grumpy and I'm like, all right, that's it. Today's going to be a beautiful day. I am not doing this again today. I am not doing this today. So I came and put a little entry into my personal planner. She is better. She went to school this morning. She was fine. She was completely fine. So I don't know what it is deals. Like she threw up and then was done. It was weird. So Jason and I, um, Mackenzie, which most of you know, her and I are really great friends. She has said, you need to watch this movie, you need to watch this movie, you need to watch this movie. I'm like, okay. And so I have an appointment with the midwife on Friday, and she's like, you need to watch the movie before then. I'm like, okay, I will. So um, we watched The Business of Being Born, which is a documentary about the differences um, and just kind of like the history of how um, delivery has gone it through the years. And right, oh my God, 20 minutes in, I was crying. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, oh my gosh. Because um, I've had four deliveries in hospital. What's the movie? It's called The Business of Being Born. And it is on Netflix right now. It was so informative and it's so funny because some of the stuff that they were talking about I was like yes yes this is totally I experienced that at something of each part in one of um, yes she was an executive producer of it and one of the the actual filmmakers she ended up being pregnant during the pregnant during the movie it went into labor and she wanted to do a home labor and she had to go to the hospital because the baby was coming too early and he was breached. And the way they just handled it was amazing. Like there's, um, oh, okay. Bye. See you later. Thank you for watching though. Um, it was really amazing how she even handled it. It was just like, you know, sometimes you need that intervention. I shouldn't even call it intervention. Sometimes you need that help. You need that extra help. But our bodies were made so magnificently and they were made to do certain things. And so many times we're preventing what they were made to do and we're making it harder on us. But I'm going to admit, I am still scared of the pain. That is my fear right now. I am being completely honest. I am scared. Um, Yes, exactly. We are thinking of having a home birth. We're not thinking about it. I'm pretty, we are going to do it. And I'm going to get over this fear. Yeah, you know what? And I talked to, I called my mom yesterday because my mom had five kids. She had one at home. She had my brother at home. 
and um, I asked her, I was like, okay, what was your experience? She goes, if I could have done the rest at home, I would have. She goes, but I couldn't. I had complications. She had um, some real bad health problems, and she had to have the last three um, in a hospital, but she had an amazing doctor. She goes, had I not had that amazing doctor, Erica, it would have been more, it would have been hard. And I said, well, I don't have an amazing doctor right now. She, she stinks. Like, I don't like her. Um, I have an amazing history. Like, my births are great. And that's the thing is, I have great births, but the things that happened at the hospital made certain things happen that weren't that great. So I'm like, why did I keep on doing that? So, they're illegal in your state. What? <laughs> How can they do that? How can they make that illegal? Really? That is crazy. Really? Oh my God, I'm like blown away. They're illegal in Maryland. Wow, okay, so you learn something new all the time. Well, now I feel, I feel honored that I could do it. Right, okay, so they were saying like that, um, oxytocin that um, is in your body naturally that they try to duplicate in Pitocin. Um, I'm sorry you guys, I can't read all the comments. What? It is a medical intervention that screws things up and I learned so much from it and I was like, well no wonder why the problems that I had, I had because they wouldn't have existed. So I'm really excited you guys and you're going to ask just gonna have to keep on encouraging me. Um, there, it's not, I don't say that it's, um, really. That was in, interesting. Illegal. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is the thing. Um, my insurance that I know of at this point in time, um, don't need potatoes and herbidols. Thanks, Kara. Yeah, I'm not, that is the one thing I don't want because what happens is I go into the hospital, my contractions come on so quickly that I cannot breathe through them. And so the first thing they do, and you're in the middle of excruciating, like mental, like you're in pain and you're in this mental spot. I was just like, oh my God, this is like, and they hurt. And they go, oh, well, let's give you epidural. You're weak at that moment mentally to make those type of decisions. And so you're like, yes, relief. <laughs> yes. Um, and so um, I did hypnobirthing on my second baby, but then the um, labor was so long because they gave me Pitocin. I was young, I didn't know. And so after a certain while, like I just couldn't do it anymore. And my mental state was gone. Bye Sarah. Okay, yes, and I'm getting a doula because Mackenzie insists, she's like, which I would love her to be here because she's a doula, but she can't right now. Um, wow. Wow. I'm learning so much. So cool. So anyways, so you're, you're just at that moment, and so you say yes to things uh, when you probably don't want to or you don't need to, and so I don't want that. And the last time I had an epidural... It made me um, and the baby flatline for three minutes, and I'm not doing it again. So, if it's not even an option, if it's not even presented to me, which the only way it's not going to be presented to me is if I'm at home and I have a midwife, then that's the way I'm going to do it. So, it won't be an option. Nobody's going to be saying, you know, do you want some pain relief? Do you need some help? You know, let's get an effort. You know, like, it won't be that way. Um, so, and I'll probably, we'll see. Every birth is different, but I go really quickly. And this is number five. <laughs> so we're just going to pray for whew, it just like flies out. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And we're going to do the Bradley method. We are. So I'm, I'm doing a couple different things. Um, because I've done hypnobirthing before, um, we're going to kind of combine that and the Bradley method. Yeah. Oh yeah. My, that was a thing. Bye. I'll see you later. Um, my OB already mentioned it. I was like, are you kidding me? Almost born in the car. That's encouraging. See, I just want to born really quickly at home 
and move on. That's awesome. I need another bobby pin, you guys. Yeah, and I have a jet top. And I already asked her. I was like, can we use my jet top? And she's like, yeah. So, totally, total score, right? So, I'm excited. We meet her on Friday. My hairs. Okay, we're going to redo this while we're on camera. <laughs> you were. That, I'm sure, was quite a sight. Try not to push. That's cool. I love hearing birth stories. They're all so beautiful. It doesn't matter if you, you know, what what the circumstances were. I think that birth stories are amazing. Am I going to scope the birth? No. No. Ain't nobody want to see all that mess. Nobody wants to see that. Come on. You know that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. We may scope one in the beginning. We're like, okay, we're in labor. Y'all aren't going to see me for a while. No, I don't know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and see, that was the thing. It's like, my doctor barely got there well, the last two. My bar The doctors were barely there to even deliver. And I was like... And then how much do they get paid? I'm like, you didn't even barely deliver this baby. You haven't been here except for the last five minutes of the whole entire thing. And yet you just made $10,000 off of me. I mean, come on. Aw. Yeah. Yeah. And then you run the risk of not even getting your own doctor. Yep. Exactly. This body pin does not want to go in. Okay. The joys of healthcare, right? So I learned a lot about that too last night. So if you've never seen it, if you've never seen the movie, I'm just going to um, put my hand up and say, Mackenzie, you had it right here. You need to watch this. Good morning, Cynthia. Right, because they're on this timeline. They're on this timeline. Like they don't want you to labor very long because they don't want you to be in and occupying a certain amount of staff for that amount of time. And they want you to move. It's like this, like... <laughs> assembly line come on let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go so I don't want to be rushed just want to be calm and then afterwards they wake you up every two hours every two hours and then I'm like oh how are you doing oh I'd be fine if you'd stop waking me up I'm trying to <laughs> go to sleep yeah they wake you up every two hours to do your vitals they have to come in and do um, blood pressure take your temperature check your bleed. I mean, like, it's ridiculous. 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 Yes, exactly. Exactly. And I'm not doing it because then they're like, oh, well, how do you feel? I'm like, I'm tired. Oh, well, you just had a baby. I'm not, no, I'm tired because you keep waking me up. And then when you wake me up, the baby wakes up. And then I have to nurse the baby because that's what they want to do when they wake up when they're brand new. Right? So, <laughs> right. Um, most of the hospitals around here, your labor and delivery room are all the same room and you just stay in that same room. And so it's a maternity ward and it's closed off from the rest of the hospital. Um, but they still cycle through, cycle through and then they come in. Well, yes, we all need to live in Europe because they do it way better. Yes, we are going to. We're meeting with the um, midwife on Friday. Yeah, no, see, that's not like it. If you're lucky, your husband gets to sleep on a fold-out couch that's really hard and uncomfortable. If you're not lucky, they have a reclining rocking chair that leans back a little bit. Now tell me, why would they want to stay there? Seriously. <laughs> I bet it is. I so want to visit Europe. Totally. Like, it's on my, I have almost every single country is on my list of I need to be there someday. Or live there. But I don't have any reason to move <laughs> there right now. And Jason goes, I'm, am I going to landscape there? Like, what are we going to do? I'm like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not reasonable for us right now, but anyways. 
You like the couch better? <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, probably because it's hard and you can actually move around those beds. It's like so hard to move and stuff in those. Ugh. So, I know it's not for everybody and that's fine because no judgment on what you choose to do at all. Um, but I've done it four times in the hospital and I don't want to do it again. So, I'm shooting for at home. We'll see how this goes. And I'll tell you how the meeting goes on Friday because I'm really excited to meet her. So we'll see. Yeah, you can. And like, it makes you like sit like this and your butt's like way down here. You should have a choice. I can't believe it's illegal in some states. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, and I didn't realize that the mortality rate Everywhere else in the entire world is so much higher than in the United States. Like, we have the worst, worst um, mortality rate. That's crazy. We And you would think, because we have all this technology, that it would be better. And that's actually what's hurting us. It's actually what's hurting us. So, it was kind of crazy. It was a good movie. Anyways, I don't want to, like... Um, yeah, they don't, and they don't really, like, want to tell us the side effects of things, so they give you Pitocin, and then you start to itch and stuff, and then they give, um, The Business of Being Born, it's on Netflix right now. Oh, yeah, and it's almost double that price now. Um, and so then they give you another drug to combat the itchiness, and I'm allergic, uh, phenerol, I think that's what it is, um, and I'm allergic to that one, so I had really bad <laughs> reaction to that one, so then they try to give you another drug, and then it's another drug, and you're just like, stop, stop, so, anyways, that's that, because hospital births are so good, well, if you have a great system, I, we, in the United States, after watching that, we don't have a really great system because it's made so much more sense. I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, I guess that is why they would do things like that. So, all right, so what are you guys going to do today to make your day beautiful? Pick one thing. I just want to hear one thing, anything. I don't care if it's you're going to cook something special, you're going to sit outside and listen to the birds, you're going to doodle, you're going to listen to music. What are you going to do to make your day beautiful today? and go. <laughs> I'm going to listen to music while I work because I do love to do that. You're going to watch Periscope. Easter prep. Yay! What do you do for Easter? Oh, cool. Cara, that's going to be a lot of fun, I bet. You're decorating. Yay! Bio journaling. Awesome. Doodle. Outside and rest. Yeah. How, Bridget, I need to talk to you about how your dad's doing. You guys, Bridget could use prayers because her dad's not doing the best. He had to have emergency surgery. So please pray for Bridget, her family, and her father today. You're hosting this year. Wow. Greeting cards. Ooh, nice. Play with your granddaughter. Aw, how old is your granddaughter? I'm like so captivated about babies right now. I'm like, oh, babies. Oh. I try to do, like hold my two and a half year old like a baby. And she's like, I'm not baby, mom. I'm big girl. I'm like, you're still a baby to me. Two years. Thank you. Covering comp books. Ooh. Are you using like scrapbook paper or material? What are you using for that? I am. Um, the printer stopped. I need to like send something else to the printer. I obviously will be working. <laughs> okay, but still critical. All right, thank you for the update. Scrapbook paper and digis. I call it awesome. Cleaning, but we'll take frequent breaks. You should. Turn some music on while you're cleaning and dance it out. You're working too, Daphne? Yeah. I got to, to work, work, work. Lots of orders. 
finish our taxes. Oh, don't you dread those? <laughs> you did? Send them my way. <laughs> That's what you're going to get into. You're going to get into a lot of mess, right? Bye, Kara. Have a great day. My ribbon system? Okay. I think I actually have a scope on that, but I'll show you. Bye. Have a wonderful day. <clears throat> Um, hang on. Let me get something open so I can print it and then I'll go grab that for you. Alright, we're going to do six. Okay, one second. I got it. Bye, Amy. Have a wonderful day. Let's see if I can reach it through this mess of stuff. It is a box, literally. You can't find your headphones. Can you, you can't blast it through the house? I like blasting it. I make my kids dance. So it's just a box and these are holes. I actually bought it this way and you know what? I did find these online um, a couple months ago. They're still available. Um, oh yeah, you need headphones. Um, and it really just has a hole through it and you just like pull it through and the inside I don't do it all nice and neat I don't so it's just like put in here and then I can just pull out the color that I want I'm actually gonna make some um, ribbon paper clips today so I may come back on and scope that because I need some paper clips for my color crush that match it so I'm gonna pull the purple make some paper clips while things are printing because everybody needs to take a break some point in time I can't work the whole entire day right so that's my system I've had these boxes for years and years and years and years but um, that's your style where online you know what I'm not sure it's been a while since I looked if you give me a second because I'm in front of my computer we can actually look together give me one second I think they're actually called ribbon boxes but we'll do have a wonderful day. Enjoy. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, here's one really similar. Oh, she did. Oh my gosh, too funny. <gasps> there it is. Okay, so they have one almost exactly like this at the container store. I know, she does. My dog's not that amusing. I don't talk about my dog because she's not that amusing. Other than stealing the pillows off of my couch, she's really not that amusing. Okay, so let's go visit the page. I'll tell you, I think you can get something very similar at the container store. Yep, $12.99. Not bad. Good morning here. You want to see? Let's. Right there. Very, very similar, right? And it's $12.99. So there you go. I, yeah, we'll see how he does. My dog loves to get groomed. She loves taking baths. She's a goof when um, she gets baths. And she's all over the place. But then she doesn't want to get dried off. Really? Yeah, but then she doesn't want to get dried off. And But then I don't want to smell wet dog. Because it's a horrible, horrible 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 smell all right so the for the person who asked look up um, ribbon boxes and there's quite a few options quite a few options that you can use and some of them look pretty cool honestly so I just searched ribbon boxes you can probably do ribbon storage too I didn't think about that it's early You're welcome. He gets in the shower? Okay. All right, send me a box. He gets in the shower with your kids? That's funny. Yeah, ribbon storage box is works too, and there's a lot of those. So there you go. All right, y'all. 
He is nuts. That's crazy. Okay, what time is it? All right, I have help coming today, so I need to run, get off because they are actually coming to work today. Yay! I get a second person. So I need to get prepped for that and make sure I have everything organized for them to do. And while they're doing that, I might get time to design. Yay! That's what I wanted to do today. So I want to fit some new designs in today as well. So I'll jump on later. Um, it's an app. I know. I Well, the reason why I don't have anything on my walls is because there's going to be cabinets. <laughs> and so I was like, I don't really want to decorate because we're doing cabinets. And I'm lazy. No, I'm not lazy. I just, it was like, do I put something up or not? Because we have the cabinets and they're downstairs. Um, yeah. They're downstairs, but right now it's not a priority to do my office and craft room because we have the whole downstairs to finish. And then we need to prep the baby room that is right now. I can cut vinyl, but I haven't done that in a long time, so I would probably need to practice. Um, so then we need to also paint and prep the baby room. You're welcome. It is just, it's an app. You can look it up it's for, it's actually, you can put it on any phone. <laughs> right, I know. So what I'm thinking about is just getting like, I have a painting back there of me when I was a um, little girl that um, somebody did for my mother. And so I'm thinking about hanging that just temporarily because I love it and she gave it to me a while ago. Um, so that'll be up there. Yeah, I know. It's it's actually really cool, and it's um, by a pretty famous painter. He wasn't famous back then, but he kind of is now, a little bit. I mean, you can find his stuff, still find his stuff, so it's kind of cool. So anyways, all right, y'all, I'm going to get to work. You guys have a beautiful day. Do something to make your day beautiful, and I will be back on later to make ribbon paper clips. So if you want to see that later on, come and join me. It's really simple and easy. So have ribbon and a paper clip and hot glue if you want to, okay? Those are the three things you need. So I will see you later this afternoon. Until then, God bless.